in research. Uh, within psychology, you have them covering the ethics of the psychologist, ethics within research, and what would be harmful behavior from a research scientist uh, when dealing with you know, your research methods, interviewing people, uh, collecting data, and things like that. So one of the subjects that they cover is, for example, you know, when they're teaching psychologists to be, is to not do any harm. And they go into the description of what is harmful behavior. And they would indicate here that harmful behavior would be, for example, to uh, you know, change, to have an interview with somebody and to change the information, to have an interview with somebody and to use misleading questions or to place the answers in such a way that uh, change the outcome to suit the researcher. Uh, they go on to, you know, explaining things like obtaining consent and, you know, making sure that the person who was involved in the research you know, was able to give their consent and they, that they were competent to be able to participate in the research. And then they go on to explain, you know, different types of permission and, you know, cognitive abilities of the person to be able to participate within the research done and stuff like that. Now, <clears throat> getting back to the topic of not doing any harm within the subject of ethical is issues and, and research relating to you know, human rights and what are the rights of the person being researched. If, for example, myself as somebody who, you know, has not had much prior education in human uh, behavior, you know, I had, you know, after high school, I, you know, studied various esoteric courses. You know, I first went into the field of esoteric and alternative healing. I became a kinesiologist and I learned how to do Reiki and energy medicine. And then I went into the field of further studying human behavior and what is really going on in the world and why people are experiencing themselves the way they are. And this led me to joining the group Destiny where we research uh, human behavior and we research what's really going on in the world and uh, part of that was to research the afterlife and to find out how the mind consciousness system functions and how that functions on a greater global scale and how each human is pre-programmed within consciousness to live out a particular life which contributes and fits into the greater consciousness which is currently being utilized and manipulated by those who want to make money to be able to uh, direct people and impulse people to participate in the greater monetary system through desires, wants, needs. And this is just to, to give you a very brief overview here of the extensive nature of pre-programming and consciousness and that um, those who know how consciousness work and how the human mind works and how the human is able to be impulsed through that which we desire and through our own programming, meaning how to impulse us through our own emotions, through our own secret thoughts, how to impulse us through our basic base programming, which you will find within the subconscious and the unconscious, uh, which the being is not aware of our base as humans, we are not aware of our own base programming that would be situated within the unconscious and the subconscious. We are not aware of the base programming of consciousness. And therefore, those who understand how consciousness function can impulse people to follow their thoughts by using those who want to impulse people use specific symbology, pictures, words, and they will play on people's pre-programming, meaning they will play on people's behaviors, desires, conflicts, fears. So this is uh, one part of the research that we have been doing for the last couple of years at Destiny. And, you know, we have participated in the research ourselves. And for me as a, let's say, you could say a normal person who has, you know, studied a few things and I've worked, 
you know, in assisting people with kinesiology. And I myself became interested in finding out what was really behind how a human functions. And I wanted to see the bigger picture. I wanted to understand how the mind actually works. And, you know, because I wanted to understand how my own mind functions. And I was able to, by using basic equations and basic common sense insights, I was able to understand that not only is every single human directed and controlled and pre-programmed, but that there are people who know how this works and that's how we are directed to participate within the existing money system uh, for those who want to, you know, make copious amounts of money. And I was able to see this and I was able to use basic equations. I'm not talking here about just sitting and making stuff up in your mind like most people do who want to prove a point. I actually, uh, together with the group, you're able to actually sit for yourself and do basic equations and take, and if you want to call it doing a bit of research, take a person's, an average person's life and tracing every single decision that that person has made back to a point of survival. And those points of survival are always tied into survival within the system, which means being able to take care of yourself, which means having money. And every single decision that every single person has ever made and will ever make is based on survival. And survival as the mind ties in with survival in the system, being a, be, which means being able to feed yourself and your family. So you will adapt yourself and your personality and become who you need to be within this world simply to survive, which means simply being able to feed yourself and have a roof over your head. And therefore, every single personality of every single human being is an adaptation and a formation of what that person needs to be within the system to be the strongest, the cleverest, uh, and to be able to uh, get married and have the strongest family because within our programming, we've been designed to survive as the mind. And within the current money system, this is being used to encourage the point of absolute survival, fear of not having, fear of not being able to live and feed yourself and your family. So now if myself, if I'm able to see this and those and hundreds of people who participate within the Destiny Research are able to trace these points for themselves using actual data, you could call it, that has been gathered from interviewing people, from looking at their own lives, from looking at the writings on the forums of people's life experiences and how every single decision that you've ever made was tied into some point of survival. If I'm able to see that, that means that psychologists are able to see this, that the research scientists are able to see this. But why are they not talking about it? You know, they, they're covering here the section on ethics and not doing any harm and not misrepresenting information and that that would be dishonest. But why is it then that psychology itself misrepresents the actuality of what people are experiencing? Why is it that psychologists are still talking about you know, oh shame, this is the person's experience and he was getting stressed and, you know, he was in this developmental stage and mommy didn't love him when he was in that developmental stage as a child and blah, blah, blah. But they never actually get to the core issue, which is what the money system within this world requires of each and every single person to become and do to be able to survive. And that if you changed the survival system of each and every single human being, obviously the generations and the generations to come after them will experience themselves differently. That half of these theories that they write about will actually then be proven to work out to a value of zero because they will no longer have to exist. But instead, psychologists create theories and ponder on theories because why they themselves are being funded in their research. They themselves participate in the money system by providing the research on points that have been set forth for them to be researched by those who create products. So if you look at it for yourself, if psychologists were to really address the problems and were to really say, wow, it's actually quite simple in itself. 
because it's the survival which is linked to having to survive in this world. I mean, that's all human beings are ever, ever doing. That since the beginning of time, it has been our survival in this world that has caused the mind to adapt itself, and therefore the mind has become what it is. Therefore, psychology and psychological theories have had to be developed to explain why the mind is the way it is. But does it really explain anything? No. So psychology in itself is causing harm and is ethically not sticking to what they were supposed to be doing and say they're doing, but instead they teach this to new students to yet again... Do according to what you have to do. You know, do your research, but just don't make any waves and don't misrepresent the facts within the research. But please just don't question why we do this research. And please don't question why we even allow theories and psychology to exist and why we don't insist that if psychology is to exist within this world, it must become something that is actually practical, that is actually working for what is best for all. And I mean, who better than the psychologist to actually question everything, question how the mind is actually formed by each individual and why the mind is formed by each individual. And they will find very interesting questions and they will find very interesting answers and therefore psychology will have actual solutions. Right now they spew a whole lot of information about data collected and, and you know, research done which says nothing. And I'm able to, and you're able to, if you sit down and you actually map a person's life and you do cross-sectional you know, uh, research and you do all types of research with different people's lives over so many years, you will find, and over so many generations even, you will be able to trace every single thought, every single behavior and decision that people have made in their lives back to the point of survival within the current system. Thank you very much. <laughs>